now from Al Jazeera's Heidi Jo Castro in Washington, D.C. So, Heidi, not a huge surprise this, given uh, how he was polling. What else did uh, Christie have to say, and, and how is this likely to uh, affect the race with uh, less than a week to go now till that Iowa caucus? Yeah, Chris Christie, he had positioned himself in a unique place in this GOP field as the obvious anti-Trump candidate. And he was the only one to unequivocally condemn the former president out of that field. But it was a message that was risky and did not resonate with GOP voters. And so because he barely even showed up on these polls, uh, Christie announced today in New Hampshire before a group of supporters that he was suspending the race. But he did so in a fiery speech, which he used to really get in that final word against Trump, saying that he's known Trump for more than 20 years. In fact, Christie was Trump's advisor during the 2016 campaign. And Christie said he would never again play a role in enabling Trump to return to become president again. And he said that he promised his voters that if Trump were to become president again, he would always put his own selfish interests above the interests of his country. What's notable here is that in this speech, Christie did not endorse any of the remaining candidates, not Nikki Haley, nor Ron DeSantis. And in fact, in a hot microphone moment just before this speech, he was caught disparaging them, saying that Haley didn't stand a chance and that DeSantis was, quote, petrified. Now, those two are the only viable contenders left standing, uh, confronting Trump. But, yeah, that's right. It, the polls show that they are at least trailing by more than 30 points behind Trump, the clear front runner. But they, too, will be facing off against each other in a debate in Iowa tonight, even as Trump will host his own solo town hall on Fox News also at the same time. All of this leading up to the first votes to be cast in the Republican primary, which will be in Iowa on Monday. Hasm. Yep, should be interesting to see how this pans out over the next uh, few days. Heidi Jo Castro, live for us there in Washington.